the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Knob is back. So for today's video, I am going to show you a guide on how to level up fast from level 700 to 1400 in Blocks Foods. Okay, so let's start. For the, for the requirements, you need a Logia type fruit. That's the first requirement. Next up, guys, you need to have candies. And you need to save them in order for you to buy two times experience. Okay, you really need that to level up fast. After that, you are all set. Okay, so the first part of the guide stay in C number one until you reach 741. Again, 741. Because the first mob here are so far apart. It's very hard to level up fast when your enemies are so far apart. So like, we are gonna start with the mercenaries. And the effect of your logia will start in 741. Okay, so defeat mercenaries until you reach 793. You can start defeating the boss in this area, Diamond at 750. Make it faster by doing and following those levels and learning how to lure. Okay, you need to lure the mobs to kill them faster, like this. So, for every mob that I'm going to show you and ask you to defeat to level up fast, I'm gonna show you how to lure them. And I'm gonna show you how I defeat the boss too. So. So uh, my technique here is to like look for mobs that you can defeat easily and fast. Because what is the use of defeating a mob if the mob or the boss is so far away, right? It will just take time. Even though if you think that you will level up faster because uh, it is it has a higher level or a higher experience gain, no, it will take more time. Okay. So next up, uh, you can defeat. The Swan Pirates until you reach 897. You can start defeating Boss Jeremy at 859. Okay, so again, you can leave this area when you reach 897. Here are the Swan Pirates. Very easy, guys. Three here. Lure them. Four, five, and six. Okay, and after defeating that, you need to defeat eight per level, I mean per quest. Go. So, you see that guys it's kind of fast here you only need to defeat two but I always defeat three because of the chance of getting candies next up here Jeremy just fly there or jump or whatever as long as you can reach this area there you go there is Jeremy Okay, so next stop, you need to defeat the Marine Lieutenant until you reach 976. There's a boss in that area, Fajita. You can start defeating him at 925. There you go. By the way guys, uh, Marine Lieutenants are kinda far away. If you want, you can just continue defeating Swan Pirates, but uh, it really depends to you. So, see that? So. If you can lure it properly, maybe in the middle of one of those trees, you can do it faster. But, you know, I kind of prefer the Swan Pirates. I don't know why, because I think they're very easy to defeat and fast. And don't forget to always, always eat, I mean, buy the candies, the two times experience, okay? There you go, done with the quest. Fajita here, Fajita is easy to defeat. Uh. The only boss that gave me some concerns is the last boss, Ice something, Ice, yeah, because they're almost at the same level, so yeah, he has a high damage. Make sure that you equip your Observation Haki and your Armament Haki and you're good to go. Twenty-five. Oh, 
Okay, so this boss is almost defeated. Okay, the next area, you're gonna kill zombies. Okay, and you need to reach level 1001. And after that, you can defeat vampires after they're in the same area. Okay? Check this out, guys. This area is the fastest area where you can level up. That, that gap from... Uh, the level that you came in this area to level 1028 this is very fast because the zombies can be lured easily you can kill them fast and they respawn fast I mean they're the same but their spawn areas are so close to each other that you can kill them and finish the quest fast check that out guys. so uh, they're so near okay that's done next next stop is the vampires the vampires are just near, and uh, they they doesn't ha they don't have like bosu haki, so yeah you can defeat them easily. Here the, the technique here is that you need to go in the middle, start hitting them with long range attacks, so that instead of you coming to them they will come to you. And to kill the four four mobs, the requirement here is eight. So defeat the four. Vampires and then just punch the last one and after that wait for it to respawn there you go use long range and they will come to you except this one <laughs> okay so after this you need to go to the snow troopers until you reach 1132 Guys, there are no bosses here. Did you notice? Starting from the zombie area, there are no bosses. But you can just go back to the bosses. I, I prefer Fajita and Diamond. I don't know. Fajita and Jeremy. Every 15 to 17 minutes, they respawn. So it depends on you. Uh, just use the timer. Me, what I do is... When, uh, the candies that you buy the two times experience has a span of 20 minutes. Whenever there are like three minutes left, I will go to the bosses. Okay, that's that's my technique there. So here my technique here is kill one first and then you need to fly to the other side and then defeat all these players, I mean these mobs and then there, there you go. Next up, lab subordinate. You need to defeat them until 1211. There's a boss here, smoker. So yeah, faster leveling up here. So I'm gonna show you how to lure them. You need eight to finish this quest. One here, two here, and three here. There you go. You need to defeat those three. Again, the requirement here is you need to defeat eight to finish the quest. Again, your logia here is very useful. This is the fourth and the fifth. Nice. Uh, when you're defeating this, always face the water, okay? Because these characters or these mobs has a blink or uh, you know that, flash step. Sometimes they go in the water and it's very hard for you to attack them. Near the water, I, I mean. So last three here and you will be able to finish the quest, okay? Okay, done with the quest. I'll show you here. Here's the boss, Smoke Admiral. It's kind of easy to defeat because of his skills on linear. I mean, most of the bosses as a linear attack. You just need to like dodge sideways. Don't forget to use your observation hockey to improve it too. Okay? Go. And just like that, guys, we are almost aware beyond halfway. Next up is the Magma Ninjas, okay? There go. You can still defeat the boss here. Uh, well, that's the Smoke Admiral. First, we have three here, and then dash, 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 and then there are three magma. You just here defeat them for a total of six. Then go back to your initial area, defeat two or three if you want. Then the quest is done. Again, a reminder, after this video, 
I will be posting the instructions on our giveaway on our group okay if you watch the video this morning I said that I will be posting it there okay so next up so again you should be part of that group next up is the cursed ship so here uh, we have lots of mobs here but I will I only suggest that you defeat yeah the, sh the ship that can until level 1394 okay because the other uh, mobs here kind of strong they have like hockeys and stuns so yeah let's just focus here on these mobs always use your observation hockey to know where these mobs are so you need to defeat eight here and the mobs are near so yeah this could be very easy check that out ectoplast don't forget to like uh, get all of those items i mean save ectoplasts to buy the items in this area okay let's save that for another video okay so after this area is the last area we're in you can find the ice admiral let's check it out there you go see guys in only 11 minutes i was able to show you a guide on how to finish or reach almost max level so in this area you can only defeat the arctic warriors i mean you can defeat the arctic warriors until you reach level 1450 and the ice admiral okay why? Because again, our other mobs here has hacky and they can damage you. So, yeah, it's good to be uh, challenged sometimes, but in grinding, you will do it again and again and again. So if you get hit, you need to wait again, like to heal your HP. So it will take time. That's why I suggest defeating Arctic Warriors only. Okay, after defeating this, we will defeat the last boss here again not the race raid boss the last boss only the ice admiral okay so there you go the ice admiral just don't forget to use your observation hockey here and turn on your enhancement uh, armament yeah enhancement hockey and there you go I think this boss is not that hard to defeat as long as you can dodge <laughs> and take note of the pattern on how he attacks and guys at the bit so I hope that you will learn something from this guide again the requirements you should always have them the logia and the times two two times experience and you are good to go again we've reached 25,000 subscribers again to all the subscribers supporters this channel is nothing without you guys I appreciate you all so we're just gonna defeat this and again guys to all of you from the bottom of my heart thank you and bye bye like and subscribe <laughs>